And we are live. We are live. Rory just asked me how I wanted to start this. I told him to just come on. <clears throat> and that was a very valid question, Trife, because we don't do guests. Right. Copy. We don't do interviews. We actually turn down interviews <laughs> and guests. Absolutely. I feel like a lot of times that should be contrived. A lot of times people want to come up here on their press run and just utilize the platform for some shit that ain't really important. <laughs> so I don't allow it. Um, uh, as someone who throughout his career has never had the best relationship with press because press just comes with its own narrative. Uh, they have their own agendas, their own motives. Um, and I'm paranoid anyway. I deal with paranoia. I'm not with it. I don't like talking to niggas. So when I watched this Doggy Diamonds interview, Doggy Diamonds, I know. Everybody knows Doggy Diamonds somehow. I can't even tell you how I know Doggy Diamonds, honestly. And I was watching, uh, for those of you who have not seen it, I'll give Doggy Diamonds some press and pub because that's my guy. Check Definitely. the Doggy Diamonds Trife Gangster interview. I watched it twice. Definitely. You're, I never met you. I've had the honor of meeting your brother. Um, so I want to pay my respects first. Uh, the wise need few words and what's understood don't need to be said. If you know Benga, then you know Benga and you just know what it is. Uh, so I automatically, with realness transfers. It's like energy. So... When I'm listening to you in that interview, your words was just so powerful, man. It like, was I watching with you? No. Johnny. Yeah, with me. Boy, did dumb shits jump off the fucking screen. My Wi-Fi was bad is what I'm telling you. And I still sat, I might have watched it a good four times because I was fucking appalled at the fucking audacity of media today. Mm. It brought me back to why I hate media today. Life was fucking lost. That's why. So when I'm watching you talk and I'm hearing you say, I don't like to talk. Right. Yeah. Right. I feel that. And I'm explaining to the gentleman I'm watching it with who don't really come from that ilk to understand some of the things you were saying. I was saying that, like, when death occurs and family is in grieving and turmoil and whatever you're going through, somebody has to represent the family. <laughs> somebody, that's right. Unfortunately, hip-hop is so fucking immature today that all we want to keep talking about is bum-ass fucking Troy Ave. Trife, let me familiarize you with me on this podcast. All the shit I say to get me in some shit, I say it. I own that shit. So even today when this nigga, and I ain't going to spend too much time talking about him. This is only even relevant because he's still got the fucking audacity to think that this is music still. To think that I'm going to waste a bar talking about him. You are fucking in sick fucking significant, my nigga. I would not waste a fucking bar, and I want to be clear on that because audacity comes back to fucking mine. You so fucking stupid, right? And this is going to be my only time addressing you here because I want to talk to him. You so fucking stupid that through all of your fucking ignorance and the fucking shit that has occurred, you still on a fucking track dissing a nigga that's praying for you still. That's why I'm done talking about him. And that's why I want to talk to Trife. I want to talk to a man. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to an adult. I want to talk to somebody. See, when you really live certain things, you really don't want to live them. Right. <clears throat> 
And you look great, Drife. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Wait a second, man. Gave all Let's be very clear, right, man. Right, 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 right. This he nigga is fucking dapper you gotta, down, you man. Get shoes at some point. Cleaned up. Yeah. yeah. They take a pic of these shoes and the whole thing say, like, see what you're No, that's about. happening. Yeah, that 100%. Yeah. How, how are you doing? I'm, I'm blessed, brother. I mean, despite everything, I'm healthy, I'm strong. I can't complain, you know? Uh, Every day something's happening. So when you're looking at life from the perspective of somebody suffering somewhere, you got to look at where you at. So that's how I move every day. Mm-hmm. You know? I thank Maul for uh, kind of orchestrating this and, and making this making this happen. What, um, because I don't even want to talk about any of the fuck shit. No, nah, I mean, whatever, yo, listen, whatever you, I'm here, like, you know, I told brother, you know, you know my my brother Maury, shout out to him because mm-hmm. it's all about relationships, right? Right, and that's how I got on. You know, did the interview with Doggy Diamond. Shout out to him, of course, again because I know, bro. So, mm-hmm. you know, we build regularly, and that's just us in the streets. You know, we just building about things that's going on. That's not for everybody. Mm-hmm. So when the conversation got to that point, I'm like, all right, bro, let's go. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you know that came out, and everybody is responding to it in the way that they're responding to it, and we get to that as well. And it comes to a point where, all right, everything you say warrants another response, right? And mm-hmm. there's, of course, people reaching out, yo, yo, just talk about me. Mm-hmm. Right? Morby hit me. Okay, that's a relationship. That's respectful. You know, I respect you. I respect Thank how you. you. You know how you move. So, all right, we can sit down and, we can, you know, we can answer some of the questions that people want to answer. At the same time, in my anger, my energy, people may not have understood a lot of things, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm open to questions. I ain't got no problem with that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, so, so that's that's real. So so we basically have open the floor. Do y'all do y'all have any questions? Did y'all see the interview? Yes, yeah. I, I saw the interview, and I mean, I think a lot has happened in response to that. That's new, and I don't think has been addressed. And I'm not sure how you feel addressing the record that came out shortly after. I've thus forgot the title and don't even want to plug it. Mm-hmm. But your name was brought up after you said those great things about your brother. It seemed that negativity was the response back. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, I did notice that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did, I did. But um, I know Av. I, I, you know, what did I, what did I expect? Mm. Right, and I'm gonna say that to you too, right? Um, when you dealing with an individual and you understand how people move, you know what's going to cause them to respond a certain way, and that's where that man is. Where don't say my name negative, or I'm going to say something back, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Is that a good thing to have? I guess because you, sometimes you're the, in the music, you feel that you have to respond that way. You know what I mean? So for me, I'm not a rapper. What am I was? Am I supposed to of be course. getting on the track and saying something back to that? Right. My whole intent of coming out and having that interview wasn't solely directed on just Troy Ave. Mm-hmm. Right. It was the catalyst of the things that he was misrepresenting and misrepresenting my family that brought it to the forefront. But people also yeah. lost the overall perspective of other things that I pointed out in that interview. Mm. Right, but so when it comes to that that song, I I was bumping that the other day. Right, I was laughing. You know what I'm saying? I don't. It's, I'm not letting that. Come on, that's not. Mm-hmm. It's right? nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, it's, it's you know it don't bother me. You mm-hmm. know I know who I am. I know what I represent. So how would that affect me? Why do I keep? I'm not gonna keep feeding into that. Mm-hmm. Right, because I got to get back to really where I'm at. Mm-hmm. So I understand that. And at the same time, he's trying to show some type of something now. Right. Mm. Did, did we not catch that? Yeah. Yeah. Right? So now I'm having this conversation. Now let's open the other conversation. Yo, bro. So he did you see what he put on um, you know, uh, on Instagram to reach out to your moms? How do you feel? So it's a lot of conversations gonna continue to happen. And I gotta mm-hmm. answer questions on all these things. I'm I'm understanding that you're trying something, right? So do I give you the respect for that? Or you know what I'm saying, do I still sit back and say I've been giving you enough time to show, right? To be honorable. Is this real is this the real honorable step that you're taking? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm looking for Troy Ave to display honor at all in anything. Mm. And I guess it's only it was only disturbing to me, Trife, because I'm, I'm watching Charlemagne and uh and him and Troy have this conversation. And it wasn't until probably an hour an hour into it cuz I watched that whole thing that I said, "Oh shit. Okay. They there's there's history there." Mm. Had they maybe had this conversation earlier <laughs> or sooner or had somebody got involved, I think things play out a little different here. So when you talk about the steps leading up to events, that's real important. It's real important to to target what we're seeing this man display and why, because 
you feed you feed these false perceptions to your hip hop consumer crowd. Fact. Because we build up image and mm-hmm. hip hop image is very important in hip hop. Some of us in hip hop it's not really an image for some people have done a lot of time in jail. Some people have some experience and live in a certain life that you don't want to live anymore. So you ain't really about pushing that. This nigga running around in this vest and all of this shit. Mm-hmm. Isn't the vest illegal? I don't understand how he's even able to do all that. Now, I, you know, a lot of people don't understand New York State law, though. Bro, real shit. Uh, pardon me. I can't. I can't it's curse. tricky. No, you're no, no, just no, fucking right. No, 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 no. I'm keeping up to you. Oh, know, okay. At the doggy dime interview. Mm-hmm. I, my mom's, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha, okay. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And my mom follows like, me on right, Twitter right, and all that. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you up there cursing and stuff. Okay. Yeah, you was right. aggressive. You yeah, came right. on so, strong. Yeah, and, I gotta, <laughs> and on that, I got to apologize a lot of people that don't understand that, right? But it's not, I, that's, I'm not trying to portray something when that happened. That was my immediate response. Absolutely. Right? And, and luckily that it was verbal. Absolutely. I thought right? you showed so much just positive will and restraint. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's right? what I thought. And, I, and I've been doing that for eight months, mm-hmm. right? And and hearing everything. And that's what I'm saying. It's like every time something happens, it comes right back to me from some avenue. Mm-hmm. Right? And I just got to sit down and not respond, right? Look at, you know, I look at, say, for example, the Doggy Diamonds interview. You got all types of comments in there. And this is, di- oh, man, I'm not, mm-hmm. listen. If you can't sit down and have this conversation with me, your opinion ain't going to matter to me, mm-hmm. right? Everybody got something to say, right? But when we can talk face-to-face and you can say, yo, listen, I want to hear what you got to say because that means you matter in, in the in circumference of what I'm dealing with, mm-hmm. right? So as I'm, as I'm moving through all this, I'm coming to the terms that there's a lot of different individuals who are not understanding where all of this starts and how they're continuing to feed the fire, mm-hmm. right? So you're feeding it consistently, but not knowing, or are you doing it intensely? And we talk about different avenues, right? Mm-hmm. When you talk about the media level, you know, what are you trying to see happen? Right? Yes. Right? right. Yes. You know, what do you want right now? Right. right? When, and, that, and that was my problem because I spoke about, one, for example, Lisa Evers, right? People didn't catch that. Right? You reach out to me all the time. Mm-hmm. All right. Tell me your intent in having a conversation with him uh, and having an a interview with him, right? About ads. I wanted to know her intent and his intent. Correct. If you want what me to be the, honest, yeah, what was why the, are y'all there? Yeah, what is the intent of this? You know, we understand he's going through something right now, right? But what is the goal of this? To promote his album? You talk about my brother. I don't understand. What is the intent? And it's always about intent. I pay attention to people's intent. Mm-hmm. You know, what are you doing when you come with this, right? Yeah. And that intent didn't make sense to me, mm-hmm. right? So then you get to the next level of understanding. You reach out to me for something that makes sense to you. Reach out to me to understand the pain that I may go through by you doing that, so I can have a heads up. So I can Word. understand that. Right? So I'm not blindsided. Yeah, like, why, <laughs> whoa, whoa, what's that? You know, oh, you, when I just get the text with the with the uh, the link, like, come on, we can't be, you know, if you respect me, you understand, I'm going to bring something to your attention ahead of time, right? Mm-hmm. And we don't know Lisa Evers to move like that. Yeah, like, it's different. Yeah, she's, 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 we, we had a good relationship. That's yeah, what I'm saying yeah. to you. Like, that, we have a respectful, good relationship. Yeah. So why would you, you know what I'm saying? Like, who, who did somebody tell you just keep fueling this? I don't understand. I, I'm, I'm like you, but I'm, a, I'm paranoid. Mm-hmm. I, I, I look at everything like, hold up. Mm-hmm. That's not right. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when my brother got hit, I had to look at that. Like, who sent who to do what? Mm-hmm. You know, I, was that for me? Mm-hmm. Was that all the setup? Mm-hmm. Because I'm out here trying to save my community. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to be doing that. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you, you start to look at a lot of things differently. Mm-hmm. Right? Because you don't understand why things happen that way. How does somebody get into a spot with the joint, and nobody caught that. But mm. we, then I had to sit back and say, I know how that, because I, I know it go down. Mm. Reality of it. Mm. That's not different from our communities. Mm. We know that happened. Mm. We know how to get there. Yeah. So you got to go back, and then you go back to how far the situation is going on and how long I know about it, mm. and being able to be calm and collective and respectful and, and still understand that things can happen, right? And I'm holding myself because I know that people are affected by my actions. Mm. My voice, my sound, right? Everybody don't care about stuff like that. I care about that. I understand that if I say something, it's gonna affect people, right? And I had to also look at my interview on that as well, right? And I got to tell people, relax, I'm good. Mm-hmm. You know, people worry about my pain. Am I? Am I? He, he about to lose? No, nah, I'm not about to lose my mind. I spoke on what I spoke on. I spoke on regards to my family. Let's, mm-hmm. But let's get to the facts of everything that's happening, so people can have peace. Because that's what I got from a lot of people. Mm-hmm. That they got. Yeah, you know, I got. You know, I got peace. I had a brother. He hit me, he said, this is in my Facebook, he said, because of you, because I was going through the same thing you was going through, I ain't killed somebody. Mm. 
to show you that my phone, my my Facebook message. No, you you ain't got to because it's real. You see what I'm saying? Fact. Let me but, tell. Go ahead, but bro. But watching you try, see now, I'm blessed and fortunate enough to. I still have both my parents in my life. Uh, I still have my four brothers. I still have a sister. So I don't know the pain of losing a relative like that. But th- that's why that's why this was important for me. That's my point. Because I lost a brother due to gun violence. You know what I'm saying? So when I looking at Trife's interview and how he, you know, I saw the restraint that he had and how he was conducting himself. And that took me back to when I lost my brother. And I'm like, yo, I, I, re- I can relate to that. And even today, this was 2003 that this happened. So almost 14 years later, I still, you know, certain days I just get in my mind because dude hasn't been caught. I wonder every day if I'm face to face with this dude, if I've seen him in, at events and shit. It, that still plays in my mind. So, you know, I, I relive that and you, you never get over it. You, it, it. you know, time helps and, you know, you have memories and you move on, but you never fully get over it. So that's why this was personal for me. And this is something that I needed to bring forth because I lost a brother due to gun violence. And I know exactly what Trife is going through. And now he's ready to just go and whatever, whatever. I live That's that. why I'm saying I don't need to ever see that text because putting myself in that position. Right. You just. Right. 100%. It takes restraint. 100%. So now, because I'm from New Jersey, hold up, Rory, because you know my memory is bad. Because I'm from New Jersey, Trife, yeah. you were saying earlier the laws in New York are very intricate. And yeah. let me tell you something. That system over there is very different from New Jersey, man. Right. When they get you over there, it's different. So I have a hard time understanding a few things like, one, why he's able to run around with that bulletproof vest on because I know it's illegal. And I know I almost got jammed up when the cops came in and saw mine. So, and two... No body charge yet. Okay. So, one, New York state law, you can have, if you're not a felon, you have the right to purchase a bulletproof vest to protect your business and your family. It's federal law. If you are a felon, you cannot possess a gun. A gun in New York state law is, excuse me, a vest Mm -hmm. becomes illegal in New York state law when you have a gun with the vest. Mm. Check it out yourself. That's the facts. Like they don't want to talk about that because mm. you, you look at the New York laws. You can't. You can't. You don't have a right to carry a concealed weapon, mm-hmm. right? But you got a right to protect your family, your business. Okay, that's right? not. That's not the law in Jersey. That's the law in New York. Check. Pull up in the feds. You read. You'll see it. That's fucking dope. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. But you know, so but you could wear it just in the yeah, fucking yeah. street. I mean, you 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 ain't. I mean, that's what he doing right now, right? And I, and with all due respect, like you know, homie, you bugging. I would think it's a law against that. No, I mean, at the point he's an entertainer, right? And he he. I don't know. Sometimes we try to just keep up certain. Yeah, images. at this point, I don't even know that that's a real vest. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't even know if you built like that to be able to wear a real vest. Them shit's heavy, my nigga. Um, <laughs> yeah, listen, ahead. fucking. Yeah. But the no charge yet is confusing right. to me because his camera's all over in Plaza. Yo, so, all right, one, two, when you talk about that, people always tell me, yo, this is an open case, and, you know, that's snitching. And, and homie, first and foremost, right, you know, I, I, my, my track record is respectable. <laughs> um, I could pull up all my papers. If you Google my government, my name ain't just Trife Gangster. My name is Sean Duke McFadder. Trife, right? today these niggas it's, don't even know what's... You know what I'm saying? So, the point is, there's a difference. And understand, if I ain't out there committing a crime with you, there's a difference, homie. When you sitting out committing crimes with people, and now we telling each other, that's what that is. It's a cold. Right? Miss Jones look out the window, and she sees something, and she cooperate. That's not what that is. Yeah. Right? Get it right, mm. though, homies. But in regards to that, this is now all public information. Right? You go back to... What they know, right? We talking federal, right? Everybody said, "Well, he ain't, he's not guilty." Federal, okay. Mm-hmm. That gun was found. They ran whatever test they need to run, and it said DNA on the gun. What what can you argue about that? When the Fed say, "Okay, we got your DNA on the gun," we went and found the person who purchased the gun. We got you in the picture with somebody affiliated with that purchase of that gun, so we know that's your gun. So we're going to pull you in here and give you a federal charge because you're a felon in possession of a weapon. That's automatically federal. Yes, I'm following you. All right, so there's no you're not getting away from that. Okay. Right here, this, this is feds. We, let's talk about the, the, the conviction rate in that. How do you prove? So now we talk about the release of information now that he allegedly adds Troy Ave name to the situation. 
right? And this is somebody that everybody honorable, free, this this boat buster. How do you say that when you look at this? You got caught with a gun or yes or no? Is that your gun? Yes or no? That ain't got to do with Tom, Dick, or Harry. What happened? You understand my point? If I get caught with mine, that's mine. I got. I ain't got to right. do. I got to go in front of the judge and I got to tell the judge this. This my. How I'ma prove it's not mine? I ain't put nobody name in that. That's that. Got you. All right. So now, you look at the situation, right? This is where I. I've been sitting back, paying attention. I haven't sat down and went talked to no district attorney. Mm-hmm. I haven't talked to the precinct. Mm-hmm. I'm from the streets. I did all my conversations. I need to have in the streets. I understand where this is at. And you said that on Doggy Diamonds too. It's a fact, mm-hmm. right? I ain't got. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wasn't. About wasn't that. erratic in thought. No, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know everything. Everything is understood, right? Things have to happen with the way they happen. So you know that happened. So when I look at it from a understanding the system, right? From the ninety four was the first time I was incarcerated. Sixteen between ninety four and two thousand eight, I did about twelve, thirteen years in installments. Paid a lot of attention to the law. I know the system. So when I look at it from my perspective. And being in and out of that system, I say, okay, the, the, the homicide is a, is a state case, right? So the state has to figure out how that's going to happen versus the feds who the gun is only a federal case. Mm-hmm. That's right? where it got confusing to me because when we addressed this, that was my question. We talked about this yeah. way before any of this fuck shit. We was like, mm-hmm. the, sta- it's confu- the state and the right. fed law. Right. Yeah. So he's it's only only reason he's in the feds because once you in federal law, once you are a felon and you possess a weapon, that's automatically a federal case. And they're not gonna take it unless they feel I, I got you in that federal case. Right? So now here's the position. Is this your gun or not? Because this is the murder weapon. So do you take it or you don't take it? You take it, all right, that's your weapon. Somebody you're accountable for that weapon, right? So do they keep it? Is the state focused on it or is the feds focused on it? That's the position. I don't know. You just got to. And when you get caught up in that mix, because, man, in New York, fucking judicial yeah, system it's, is. It's serious, yeah. You know, I know homies that, that you get, you'll get state and federal time. Mm. Right? We're just going to charge you. We'll charge you on the federal level for the gun and we'll get you on the um, state time. And now you got to do two different bids. My father was in MDC, but fighting state charges. And at one point, they was not trying to have the time concurrent because, mm-hmm. like, it just gets real tricky. Shit, D, yeah, mm-hmm. D, mm-hmm. Uh, D just did however long the fuck he did with a wild law. What was D on, like, pr- parole? <clears throat> and he drove from Totowa to Delaware or some shit, right? A very short drive. And in Delaware, maybe he got pulled over, had a warrant that violated his parole in New Jersey and had to do three years now in Delaware. <laughs> yeah. So you get caught up in the legal system. Fortunately, today we got all these documentaries and shit <clears throat> that, you know, kind of teach us how that infrastructure was built. And we have all these activists, you know, they're trying to shut Rikers down. And today we have all these tools to get information about jails and the right. legal system. I mean, I'm actually part of that shut Rikers down. That's what I do mm. you know, on a regular. I actually go into Rikers about twice a week. Um, and just really, I go into the same houses that I used to be in there cutting and stuff and just really showing them, listen, I'm in here right now, right? Mm-hmm. I've been through all of this. Mm. Right and now, this is what I'm doing. Right, my organization is focused on that. So when they talk about shut down Rikers, the goal is to to minimize it from n- about it's about nine thousand inmates down to about five thousand. That's mm-hmm. that's part of the plan, and then build smaller community jails. And like, people don't even understand the research of Rikers and how he led people to uh, slaves. And uh, you got to do the research of the We're whole Rikers Island. We're seeing these stories now. Yeah, yeah. you mm-hmm. know so. Uh, in order to, to stop something, you, you can't just say, okay, we're just going to stop by building jails. you got to change the mindset of the individuals that's in there. Mm-hmm. Like, they sure. believe in, you know, on, in this whole gun life gang, 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 everybody gang, gang, gang all day. It's corny, mm-hmm. right? So little bros, they're not, they, they not telling you a commodity, and they're not telling you that uh, you're a consumer to a business. Mm-hmm. right? And that's what I had to realize. I'm mean, mm-hmm. hold up. The prison industrial complex needs consumers. Talk about it. And I've been a consumer for a, a very long time. Mm-hmm. I think at this point in my life, I don't choose to do this I'm done. anymore. I'm right. done. Okay. Right. So let me come up with a plan of action to make sure that I am getting away from this lifestyle. Mm. Yeah. It's a fact. You know, that's what we got to show them. Right? All this, yo, I'm being tough and I'm shooting and killing. We ain't getting nowhere with that, bro. Right? And, and, and you, bring, you bring that point to the forefront. You say, when you're about it, you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to live it. 
You know, I yeah. want to get away from it. Yes. You know, I'm a, I'm upset that I had to show that. Yes. Mm. Right? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, and and I, then I say, even though I showed that, it's sad that that's what people got to see. There's some That's that's the first impression to a lot of people about me. Mm-hmm. Right? That's mm-hmm. the first time. Trife Gang, right? But then you Google me, my work, my organization, GMAC, right? Gangsters Making Astronomical Community Change Incorporated. Pull it up on the internet. You'll see what I do, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm affiliated with a lot of elected officials. I'm at the point where people, what, are, you running, are you running for, uh, 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 no, I'm not running for no office. I just want to help my hood and take care of my kids, my people, right? I don't look to be a politician. I don't want to do that. So I'm not trying to be this person you want me to be and clean up my act. I'm, not, I'm good with all that, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I'm about that, right? Getting to the point of helping us from the inside. Yes. Right? And that's how I do it, right? Yeah, Trice Gang, is he blood? That's what he come, all right? So he's reputable. He knows what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. I'm not the only one like that. Mm-hmm. Right, where they at? That's what we gotta bring to the forefront. We can't bring people to the forefront that's fronting about this and talking about shoot kill every free, every day, and they not doing that. Mm. Well, Trife, and and see that adds to. I have a theory, right? I feel like I'm I'm I'll be 37 in August, and I feel like this generation. I thought I, I had. I thought I thought you was about my. You know, about how old my, are you? I'm 30. I'll be 39 in June. Yeah, I'm, it's coming, right. it's coming. 39, listen, I, I'm scared of 39 because, well, shit, 37, they tell me, is when niggas are supposed to go get their prostate. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid of that. Mm-hmm. I'm, I am, honestly. But it's it's time, especially this Charlie Murphy just passing, rest in peace, it makes you want to, you know, you really got to check on your fucking health mm-hmm. and shit. But, uh, damn, my memory is bad. Oh, the theory, right? So I'll be 37 in August, and I feel like this generation t- sometimes lacks information because when I was... 13, 14, 15, I was hanging out with niggas that were 25, 26, 23, 24. So it was a older. There was always a, a funnel of knowledge to be passed. And because we're in the air quotes information era, but there's so much information to consume that people are probably dumber than ever. I feel like the 25 year olds today, they don't really they're not really hanging with older niggas so that information can be passed down so when you speak about OGs you know there being more people like you working from the inside to help the community and doing all this positive shit but we're not seeing them it's important that we start to see them it's important that that it's important that you sit here it's important that that information gets spread like fucking wildfire because that's, that's These not, niggas is without it. That's not a, that's not a seller though. You know what I'm saying? It, mm-hmm. it don't it don't it don't make money. It don't it don't push you to the system, right? Mm-hmm. When you talk about being better for our community, they don't want that. We know they don't want that, right? But it's about now getting to the forefront. And when you talk about these young people, what I realized is at thirty nine, about to be thirty nine, I had those people there for me, right? Even though I've never seen my father. The, the the big homies, the OGs, non gang affiliated, just what they are, right? It's, people think OGs only about a gang. It's not, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It's what you gave to the hood. You ain't mm-hmm. just had to kill somebody to be OG, right? Right? That ain't you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> don't get it twisted. OG don't mean I'm a murderer. Mm-hmm. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. So anybody can shoot. You got buses shooting up schools, and that's not that's you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I'm not. We not convinced by that. Right. Show me something else. Exactly. Right. So I saw that I had that leadership. I got that. Right. I got. Morals, principles, codes, ethics, things of that nature. Not just for mom, but when I got into the street, right? So what I realized with our generation is we got it and we took it and we kept moving, mm. right? We, we just, now we, we got it, but we working. Mm. But as we working, what we did, we left the media yeah. and anything else to, to rep, fake replicate how we moving to push it to the young brothers, right? Mm-hmm. And sisters. And now we didn't step back and say, hold up, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. That ain't how it go. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's and 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 those brothers are sitting in their houses right now, taking care of their kids, being successful, right, and doing the things necessary because they know y'all can have that. If that's how y'all want to be, I'm gonna leave it to y'all. Versus coming to the forefront and saying, "Hold up, I ain't never let no little dude move me." You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Homie? First of all, we we the resources, mm-hmm. right? For our young brothers and sisters. we the yeah. resources. We yes. got we got the connections. We Slow it down. Hold up. When somebody moving our hood wrong, we gotta adjust that. Mm-hmm. When violence happens in our hood, we we gotta stop from escalating. Mm-hmm. Right? We gotta pull up on them because what they get is the, yo. What happened? Go, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying versus right. yo. What happened? Chill. You yeah. Know what I mean? Don't go. Yeah. Don't go. What was it about? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know him. Let me go build with such mm-hmm. and such. Mm-hmm. It's minor. Mm-hmm. Let's fix that. Right. Right. That's what we gotta get them to understand and get more brothers out they out they shell. Mm-hmm. Right? Understand if we if we looking at how 
Amish man, you know, is moving our society in the mm. direction he's moving, we're killing ourselves. Mm. They're killing us. So if, if there is a war to be fought, we ain't got no soldiers because we, we die in everybody's hands. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, there was a guy when I was, well, I, I spent, unfortunately, a fucking, this was one time I spent like four hours in the bullpen down there in downtown without you. I was <laughs> mad about it. <laughs> but when I was in there, there was this older gentleman. He was about 55 years old, and he was drunk. But he was screaming in the cells that it's a business, hmm. and we're consumers, and we should vote locally because these judges, he had got the name of the judge we were about to see. And he was drunk, and he was, might have even been homeless, but boy, did he have all the stats on this particular judge, and he hmm. was in that cell kicking knowledge. Everybody in there disregarded his ass. Right, right. Nobody wanted to hear any of that shit. But, mm -hmm. but to that point, in Riker's closing... Is that really going to solve it? Because, of course, lowering the number of inmates is a step in the right direction. But just breaking it off into all five boroughs, is that solving it? Because well, well, it's still the same judicial system. And mm -hmm. while we do have options of people like Tribe going in there to help the inmates, inmates just changing is not going to do anything. It's, not the, the it's, not, the same not, it's not the same judicial system if there are 4,000 less inmates. Right, but that's not even, it's, that's not even a pro, it's the violence of mm. Rikers, bro. Of course. It's the, it's the mentality. Mm. Now, you can't even go see a family of Rikers without a, without a correction officer treating like you like I, you're I've, an inmate. You understand I, what I'm I've saying? I've been there, yes. It's, it's, the, it, the, it's the, the pressure, the, the, the COs who go in there and do time and people mm. don't understand that they're doing time too mm. and they go in there trying to conform to the I'm doing time and still live outside. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right, and so I'm going to treat this individual who's doing time inside a certain way because he gives me the aggression because mm -hmm. he don't understand that I'm here to do a job, mm -hmm. right? So there's a there's an overwhelming level of violence that Rikers has that that's that's why it needs to be shut down. But I mean, but wait, let me get it to add to that really quickly. Let's take it off of jail, right? And let's take it to schooling. When the class is overcrowded, it's a concern because you feel like. All right, you you're not giving the best that you can to the when the class is smaller, special ed. The class is smaller; they want more attention. Mm -hmm. Four thousand less inmates is a whole lot easier to manage. <laughs> right. So when I'm watching the Khalif Browder doc, and that little nigga, he he had heart. Mm -hmm. He had heart. Hell yeah. And I watched uh, the fucking COs in there be outnumbered. <laughs> so you can't break it up because they got families to go home to. When you take 4,000 of them niggas out the equation, it's not the same jail. It's, mm. it's a totally different variable. Nah, but you got to also put the energy different for the families to bring family back because it's a travel, it's a trip, right? Mm -hmm. The business of, give you an example, Rikers is a business where people don't pay attention to how they raping the families. So when you go to Rikers, there's a bridge, right? Everybody know that Raggis Bridge. They mm -hmm. said it's the longest bridge in the world. Mm -hmm. You get over there very quick, mm -hmm. but it takes forever to get back, back over, right? Right, right? So you can't drive over that bridge if you're going to visit your family. You got to park on the outside. Mm -hmm. Then there's the bus mm -hmm. right there that there, takes you right that over. Q100. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then once you get off of the island, you got to get back on that bus, and it takes you back Shit, twice. to your car. <laughs> mm -hmm. You just paid two full price fares. Depending on how many people is with you, if you got your kids, mm -hmm. right, how old they are, the family, to go across that bridge. So if I'm coming off that bridge, I just came from because I got to pay another two seventy five or more just to get off mm -hmm. of the bus on the other side of the bridge. It's a lot of different things. They did another thing where, when they had stopped uh, giving personal sneakers, right? They said what you could do is you can get Pumas. So they had a contract with Puma, hmm. right? Stop all other sneakers because they. Some warden on the island made a contract with Puma. They bring that in exclusively. You understand what I'm saying? There's, there's mm -hmm. ways of business that mm -hmm. they continue to push in there. So that reminds me of two things, Trife. One, I watched this little kid informational show called Adam Ruins Everything, and he just gives information. Uh, and he was doing an episode, and he was teaching us about eyeglasses. And the episode was about how the people who own the biggest framing, frame, glass frame company, the people who make the 
lens, the solution, how all of that shit is connected, and it's just a one big monopoly, so you're paying the same person. Right. So I understand what you're saying there. And two, it reminds me of more when we was in the fucking bullpen and they gave us that fucking, what did they, the budget cutbacks, they took the jelly oh, man, off of the- they cut jelly off the fucking They cut budget. jelly off of the fucking that. sandwich in the, in the joint. It's just peanut butter. That was the crazy shit. I, I know made. that's a very small point to this that's very important <laughs> conversation, but I was taken aback as somebody who's not familiar with the ongoings in jail. Yeah. Definitely. Anytime I'm ever in jail, let me be clear, I try to bail out ASAP. Mm -hmm. I try to never hit pop. Never, right. especially Kearney over here, because if you're famous and you go to General Pop over there, they pricking niggas with AIDS and all types of wild shit in Jersey. So why would you ever want to be there? Mm -hmm. Ever? I mean, we don't want. Why would anybody want to be there? We got to right. get away from that mind of wanting that prison system. That's right. my point. That's my fucking point to surf. Right. That's my fucking point to surf. Right. That's my point to surf. Like sometimes, sometimes jail. Or, well, God will sit you down. Mm -hmm. God, when you won't go sit yourself down, God will sit you down and get your body whatever it needs. Mm -hmm. So. I believe that. I believe that jail has probably been a huge part of why my father is still in my life because they went and sat his ass down for a little bit mm -hmm. when he was acting stupid. Uh, and my good friend Surf, I believe that God has went and sat his ass down for a little bit because he's out there acting stupid. And that's if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. right? Let me be clear. If you're lucky, you will get to sit down and be ref and be in a reflective state. And get state. another shot. It's yeah. not, it's not, yeah. li it's not like that for no more. You know, when I say I did... Uh, about 13 installments, right, back and forth, back and forth. That that was then. They they changing these laws now. So they, they bust them in the head. They they add all type of enhancements to their crimes, and they don't understand that. They don't understand what a gang enha enhancement is. They don't understand, you know, just by talking about a, a crime, it's a conspiracy. right? So these young mm -hmm. brothers are getting caught up in situations don't even understand what they're part of. I ain't got to commit the crime for it to be a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. Just talking about it, little brother, you mm -hmm. putting yourself in a situation with people who are also working as agents, right? So it's a, it's a lot that they're uh, not understanding about the life that they want to be in, mm. right? And we got to educate them on that. Mm. You know, how do you how do you not look at the fact that when I was upstate, I saw that and I didn't catch it till it took my second bit up north. Like, oh, I'm bugging, mm. right? Mm. Up north where they got prison industrial businesses where you making these clothes, you making mm -hmm. those same glasses, same bro, right? 14 cents an hour. So I tell you, bro, if you if you sitting in jail and you just did ten years and you made fourteen or eight cents an hour, you can't come home and work, mm. right, and find something minimum wage just to start, mm. right? Because we gotta fall back to playing catch up in our community because we seeing everybody else thriving. When you get that position, you gotta slow down. That's what we trying to also get to get the brothers that's up there to, when they come home to get back to the right mindset. Because there's brothers up there who understand the system. And want a new chance, right? So we got to start preparing something for them, because that's where a yes. lot of them are at as yes. well, right? So mm -hmm. when we also talk about that. That's to the point earlier, right? Where they at? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, some of them got hit with a whole bunch of time because they had leadership qualities, right? right? And railroad yeah. gave them. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. And they sitting up there like, yo, yes. I get a lot of cash from tell yo, bro, keep doing what you're doing, right? Keep pushing, like, yo, we coming out to do what you doing, right? The real homies that's up top. Right? And that's the energy, right? Because our our communities need something totally different. It's time for a shift, right? The shift is, I, right, you negative, that's not that's not popular. Yeah, we you not positive, oh, that's what we with, right? You, know, you bring the popularity to that, right? right? That's what's cool now. Right. You run around here killing each other, that's not cool. Y'all can have that. That mm. system going to wait for those who, right? We're not going to stop it, mm. right? We're not, murders, and that's mm -hmm. not going to stop. Mm -hmm. yeah. We want to minimize, right? And give a different energy to our community. Put them young people towards the, towards something that has a talent that they can have a career. Teach them the computers. We gotta bring them something serious and tangible, right? Because you all you showing them is music, all you showing them is drugs, all you showing them is basketball. They going and, and and they don't get that first shot. They are gonna go right to that street and start letting off that first shot. And and whenever y'all ready to have a real serious conversation in music and basketball and I mean music and sports we at the low level there too mm -hmm. they won't let us up that fucking ladder either but I know that's a conversation too heavy to have now so we'll save that for later to touch on <laughs> to touch on uh, go back on what Trife was just saying now with all due respect I do understand your stance with tax and certain feelings and emotions right but tax is somebody that I've, I've met we've all met and we've had you know run-ins and conversations right when you look at the totality of what Tax did, he was able to create a platform for himself. 
He was able to put himself in a different space, right? He was able to gain attention and notoriety for something that he probably never thought about. Mm-hmm. This is something that probably just fell in his lap, but it was it, it, it allotted him things in his life. He was able to meet certain individuals that he probably would never be in a room with. I agree. He had some great interviews with you know famous celebrity people. I agree. We need to find where it went, where we he didn't figure out, I got to totally remove myself from negative. Because I think that's a problem that we I don't can answer address. that for you. That was that was his that was his claim to fame. What do you mean? The, the you know the, the 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 bully to talk about somebody. The, the, that's that's what some people do, mm. right? You know, with all with all respect and shout out to Fifty, mm. right? People try to replicate that, mm. right? Like how he came out and a lot of things at he everybody. did, right? Right, and. Some people take that into different plateaus, the different platforms, and utilize it different ways, right? That thing. I, I, I watched, and, and I go back to when I first had those conversations with, with Av about that, right? When it all started. And I said, okay, yo, bro, I said it before, and Doggy Dom, stop entertaining that, homie. Mm. Right? We can't entertain anything that's, that's being said about us. Joe, you understand what I'm saying? Right? Word. We got to sometimes, I. Right, Definitely, because mm-hmm. I'm still doing what I'm doing. I'm going to be all right. Exactly. Right? So keep doing what you're doing, because talk is nothing like It alters action. nothing. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Action alters everything, mm. right? But be respectful, move and move with resolve, but meet oppression with aggression, mm-hmm. right? Mm. It's plain and simple. So I watched it, and I watched different, you know, Twitter texts, right? And I said, okay, this is not this is not good. This is not going good, right? And, and, and then I'm going to say something about that. But as I'm watching it, when I said, this is not going good, bring me back to that. Mm-hmm. I said, this is not going good. I had a conversation with my brother. I had a conversation with, I had a conversation with all BSB about that. I mean, boy doing too much. First of all, the situation wasn't his from, from the get-go. Mm. Right? That was the conversation between a whole other party. I understand that's your man. And we always talk about how we respond to our mans. Mm-hmm. Right? And that brings up, with all shout out, my brother my saw him, right? And we wouldn't touch on that. People got a lot of comment to say about that, so I don't want to miss that point. Mm-hmm. There's certain points that we could touch on that wasn't touched on that people was still inquiring about. Mm-hmm. Right. And why for example, why Mike spoke. But reality of the situation, people need real reality of how this got here. Right? I don't know. I've never seen tax a day in my life. Mm-hmm. In person nowhere. Mm-hmm. I've never saw him a day in his life until that day. Right? Really? They, they, they ain't, see yo, now, bro, homie. See, he never. He don't know that dude, bro. Mm. He don't know that dude. I don't have sat down. He don't know that dude. That's why I said I don't have to speak on him. He don't know that because dude. because from the outside, it would appear all just Brooklyn. Because yeah, I don't know. I don't. And go. that's the thing. It is. It's, and that's the. That's where the, the pain of it all. Because there's a lot of people that's really intertwined in this situation. Mm. That's in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn, yeah. You know yeah, you know what I'm saying? All due respect to everybody. It's a lot of individuals that understand that's affiliated with this person, that person, because we're in Brooklyn. Right. It's a, it's a big place, but it's a small place yeah. if you're yeah. in the streets. Yeah. So we understand you stepped in and felt like you wanted to, okay, you ain't like what happened over that song, mm-hmm. right? All about the money. That's mm-hmm. the, the And what is the gentleman's um, name? Manolo. 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 Yeah. Manolo. Mm-hmm. Tax and Manolo. That's his man. That's his are man. cool. Yeah. Correct. So now shout out because my man, my man, my with... man, how be moving with Manolo, right? Mm. Uh, that's my man. That's the homie. That's the hunter, right? So with all due respect, homie, try to sit down with me and have a little resolve with that situation, right? Because my bro, how they move accordingly, you know, Manolo. That ain't, they, there was a situation with him and bro where they got into it. Mm-hmm. Bro, my bro banks on, and a situation happened. Mm-hmm. Right, he was he was by himself. Ah mm. uh, 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 over that whole situation, mm. it popped off. A couple of them tried to jump on him. He he was still holding, and he got it in. And then when they got crazy, he was like, "All right, stop playing. Back that thing up." Right. Mm-hmm. Real. That's how you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Understand my point. So you said, "All right, I'm going to intertwine myself in this because." My man and him ain't moving over this money situation, over this music, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm going to keep, now I'm going to bully him. You got to be real about it. I'm like, why, homie, why do you keep, everything is, now you, it becomes an obsession, homie. 
Right? Mm. I'm watching you. You constantly got something to say. Like, this is timeline stuff. You, I used to sit there and just watch before Bang got killed. Just watch and say, okay, that's my job, right, to pay attention. Mm. So as I'm watching, I'm saying, all right, damn, so I always got something to say about boy. Right? All right. That ain't your song. Mm. Why you going? Why you going harder than him? All right. It continues. So now you have to think about the position of Av as well, right? Bad guy, not having people feel about him. We hold, we have to put everybody in the position that they're in to understand why that happened, right? Yes. And I just told you, you don't know him, right? You getting involved in a situation, you constantly antagonizing me, right? What happens the first time I see you? I'm gonna respond accordingly, mm. right? Okay. Regardless of what people say, it's not facts, it's facts. That's all on camera now. I mean, this is public information. You can't argue this anymore. If it ain't out yet, it's going to come out. Mm. But wait. Go ahead. Because he had an option to, and I want to be fair. He had an option to what? When you see money, you can either A, handle it. Correct. Or B, not. Correct. That yes. is still an option. Yes, it is. And we always have to take the best option that we choose for yes. ourselves at that moment. Okay. Mm. Right? So, where was he mentally at that moment when he saw him and said, hey, I'm just going to have this fight? Probably not in the greatest of spaces. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I'm going to have this fight because now I finally saw you. I'm in that mm-hmm. mode where you saw me all like I was there, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm just thinking this is what's going to happen, right? We're inside an enclosed building. Nobody's anticipating a weapon, mm-hmm. right? I'm, maybe I'm just, I'm just manning see, up. That's, see, to me, right? not to cut you off, mistake number one. Anticipation of the weapon, of no weapon? In Irving Plaza right? at a T.I. concert with Mano and Uncle Murder and Troy Ave. And this is not to knock any of these gentlemen. Right. However... I would think, when, and again, I probably have a little more wherewithal than the average consumer. I'm not going to that building right. thinking that ain't a weapon in there. And that speaks to a lot of negligence. That speaks to Irving Plaza's negligence. 100%. Do we think that T.I. invited all of these people here? So I spoke Because about, you spoke about spoke that. About so when I speak about it, I speak about it from my position where I'm at. You know, I move accordingly. I pay attention to detail. All right, you're having this event, this this concert of this sort. You know who you're pulling out. You know every city got negative energies. People got issues, right? I feel first, if you, you're protecting yourself first, right? Let me make sure everything is secure here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got to get back to my family as the artist. This 100%. is my show. Mm-hmm. Now I got to make sure that my fans and everybody coming in this building is protected, mm-hmm. right? So make sure every avenue is covered, mm. Right? You pulled all those energies in there. You don't know. You don't know what was going on with son. Mm. You ain't know that that he was gonna pull up. He ain't know. You understand my point, mm. right? So it's about having a, like we focus on having people. Available. Maybe he didn't. But then that means your team is slipping, mm. right? If it's not your job, it's your, it's your team job to know what we going into. Who in the building tonight, right? Mm-hmm. Before we pull up, what's going on? Who? I, I didn't. When 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 after this summer jam. That was the first time I saw a T.I. I saw a T.I. personally met the brother more than one time being with Ab, right? And I saw the energy with bro, right? So he know Av person. He know Av come with a different type of energy. All right, so now when you pull them up, you should understand the energy that's coming around him. You see my point? Mm-hmm. Av didn't come there with just the intention of popping up at a concert and enjoying the concert. He was coming in, in, in respect to, to um, T.I., Mm-hmm. Right. So I, right, yo, bro, I'm, if you my homie, you pulling up and you come to Brooklyn, right? I'm gonna tell you, good, what's good out. We over here, mm-hmm. right? Anything I need to know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A, you know what I mean? Any negative energies we need to be on point? Anybody we need to look out for? Again, Trife, that's why this is disturbing. Because all right, let's say nobody does their due diligence. Right. I pay attention to details well. Right. So I know that Troy Ave is affiliated with Ti. They've done records. Right. Right. I know that Mano is affiliated with T.I. Right. I know that. I just know. I just know. Like you could see it. So maybe T.I. is not in tune with New York. And I would like to think that he does know. See, and let me make a larger point, too, because that's real important that, that, that you said that New York don't really have the, you know, 
When Sloan Owls went to fucking Houston to shoot a video, uh, and they were shooting on the fuck, you gotta check with the hood. You just gotta. You, that's important. That was very important that you said that. You have to do a check in the fucking hood. It's just codes. So I say that to say, who is that for New York? Because <laughs> as a rapper, Trife, no comment. As a rap, of course, no comment. But as a rapper, and what I mean. See, I don't mean who is that for New York. No comment. Right. We know no comment. Right. Publicly, Publicly. The, probably the only person that we have to G-check some shit that goes wrong in New York is Mano. <laughs> yeah, it's the guy. It's the bro. I mean, I, you, know, <laughs> you know, that's that's his, Mano. That's Mano part of what he do. I call you know, Mano, guy. right? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yo, how wild is it to me that you're the voice of reason for me in New York hip hop? Because right. I know you. I know where, where you're willing to go. So that's crazy. That that's that's wild to me. Mm-hmm. That's just wild. That was the end of my point yeah. there. He, he in tune with the homies. He in tune with the bros. You know, shot, you know, it's a lot of good brothers out. You know, in the streets that is in tune to know. Like for example, my boy um, Prime. Prime be on. You know, he he, he be on. Uh, you know, Hot ninety seven with Flex and Joe Jackson. Mm-hmm. And Prime, you know, in tune. Right, he's in that loop. Mm-hmm. Right, these are the people you're supposed to know because he know what's going on. Right? So when you talk to those individuals, you don't understand how to pull them to the side and say, yo, bro, what's the energy? Right? Identify those people because those people could tell you how to move and how not to move. Right? And that's what we want to get in the, in the business now. When you come into this city, holler. Right? Like, we need to understand where you at. Right? And at the same time, we about community. You ain't going to just be talking, oh, shoot them up, kill them up, and you not giving back to mm-hmm. the city as well. Mm-hmm. Right? I, I got to go back to the fact that I do nonprofit work. And it's hard to provide for a community doing nonprofit work. Everybody ain't throwing money to us to mm-hmm. say, yo, save our kids. Mm-hmm. Right? You throwing you throwing money everywhere else. Mm-hmm. Right. And we focus on gun violence on different levels. So if you come to our city and you promoting a certain energy, reach out to the individual who know how to move. We got a team of individuals that do violence and eruption in our communities, bro. Their job is to mediate conflicts. Mm. Right. So if something happened and I'm I'm my, I have a staff, right, that pay taxes. But what their job is to be right on the block, canvas the community, talk to the shooters. If something pop up, yo, anything good? This is real work. Mm. That's amazing. Mm. It's real work. Mm. That is saying? amazing. Fact. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's, it's other organizations that do it, but that's what I'm talking about, about saying, all right, if you got a cop who stands on our corner, right? They used to have Operation Impact where they just stand on the corner and get paid yeah. to talk to each right. other. Right. That's not preventing crime. I'm go to the next corner mm-hmm. and let those shots go. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. And then you're going you're just gonna make the arrest. With all due respect, NYPD do a great job. Mm-hmm. Right? I ain't got no beef with you know, mm-hmm. except injustices. Mm-hmm. Right? But now taking somebody who I say, listen, I come from this. I understand this. I know you understand me. I'm not about to take what you tell me to the police. I'm just going to take it to the next person that mediate something. Yes. Mm. Right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to employ you to do that. Mm. Right? So your job, your paycheck, fact, your paycheck is to be on the, in the community. Yo, everything good. Right? Every day. That's what you do. I got outreach workers. Their job is to find those high-risk individuals and, and create a risk reduction program for them. Right? How could I help you get away from that? Right? What services I need to provide for you for mental health, job training, mm. whatever that's needed. Right? So I can't tell you just put the gun down. I'm going to give you something. So my always work is job is to focus on that. You, mm. see, you see what I'm talking about? This mm. is how we're getting back to doing this. This is real forward thinking stuff. Tri- see, this is the shit saying. that needs to be at the forefront. This is incredible. And it's, and, it's, and, it's, and it's unfortunate that it took for a tragic situation to happen for, that, for us to yeah. find all of this out. I would have yeah. never probably found any of this out had that tragic situation not happened. And that's the problem. Why does it take something like that to happen? Because Bang is a hero, bro. He's an angel. Right? That's a fact. And, I gotta, and, I, gotta, that's and a fact. I gotta go with that. That's you know what I'm saying? That's, that's I, I gotta, what it is. You know what I mean? Like, I'm good. I gotta go with that. That's, that's my angel. He's here. He's gonna bring something bigger out of this whole subject, right? Out of this whole situation. That's powerful. Right? When people start to understand it, right? And, I'm, and since I said that, I'm gonna say this. There's a lot happening. Because of the music that Av just pushed out, right? And a lot of people were feeding into it, mm. right? Don't, right? Don't. I'm talking whoever, right? I ain't, listen, my, 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 my personal issue, if I have a problem with anybody, it's tax. That's it, right? Nobody else. It's just getting to the point of understanding, right? 
where everybody was and what was being done and how people misunderstood things, right? And, mm-hmm. and, and being able to say, first of all, don't do it that way, mm-hmm. right? Understand the pain of everybody else, right? So we got to get that to the forefront. Bang brung that to the forefront by us seeing him go to the heavens. Mm-hmm. All right? It's still causing, right? This is a story that the world pretty much know about right now, right? Yeah. So everybody now that's continuing, even you, right? By hearing your name, it's like, okay, hold on. Would you right die, right? That's that's part of it. That's that's the feeling of the same negative energy. They need that, right? Listen, bro, go ahead. Don't let that happen, right? Everybody else, you talk about you want to do better. I talk about all the individuals, the key individuals involved. That's free. Don't feed into it, mm-hmm. right? If you're successful, and you're moving towards progress. The only people that's going to die are the people that are the major catalyst of the violence. Mm. Is us. I don't want that to happen on bro. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right? If it's, nece- if it's necessary, it's necessary. Not because we feel, oh, we got we to gotta feed into the negativity. Yes. Right? There's nothing tangible. Right? The only person that died was my brother so far. Right? So if I'm okay with moving on, everybody else needs to be okay with mm. moving on. You mm. see what I'm That's saying? point mm. right there. Right? Because mm. ain't, ain't another death come yet. Mm. Yeah. Right? So if I'm saying, hey, I ain't, I, back in the days, I was a, everybody accountable. Oh, right? Mm-hmm. So now it's like, hold up. We can't do that. Everything that happens, can't. everybody can't be held accountable for it. Right? Understand the facts of it. I understood the facts of it before I even spoke on it. Right? So now that I understand the facts of it, I can speak on it. Mm-hmm. How you feel about it, I'm good with how I'm moving every day. Right? But I want to do that because I understand my voice as well. Right? And I know there's a lot of people that heard me speak and they're like, oh, nah, don't do that. Right? Mm-hmm. I got to put that out there. You understand my point? Like, mm-hmm. I'm good. I don't need nobody to respond for me. You know, my, my energy ain't just, I hate Ab. Nah, that's, that was, that's my little brother. He was my brother. Like, come on, I, I'm be, I have to be real about that. Mm-hmm. I wasn't fake moving around with him. Mm-hmm. Right? You, if you listen to his song, whatever, the only part that I, I, I noticed was, I was, he said I was acting like a brother. Right? Mm-hmm. That's genuine there. Right? Like, so, because I gave you that brother. Right? Mm-hmm. So now it's like, you're working. Because you said too much. Don't do that. Yeah. Right? You know where I'm at. You have a conversation with me. Mm-hmm. Right? You you give a you give you give a, you give something, you give something back. You said that yourself. Yes. Right. See what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, everybody's waiting for that negative energy to continue. Right? So the person that feeds into it is gonna be the person that's gonna lose. I'm not feeding into it. I'm good. Let's talk about how we help in our hood right now, right? You have a you have a platform, Joe, and I came here out of respect for that platform because you got a good voice, right? Thank you. And bringing it to the forefront, being able to speak about any topic is important to our community. Mm-hmm. Not being afraid to voice it. Right? A lot of people feel, oh, oh, you shouldn't have said that, All right? Listen, I'm not a politician. Right. I'm a human. Right? Yeah. That means politicians is not humans. That's my joke, <laughs> right? Because some of them just don't care, right? They just do, right? They just do whatever. <laughs> really? Right? Just, or did you make that choice as a human or as a politician? Right? right? So for me, and I'm getting high, I might take my sweater off my shirt. You know, I ain't trying to flex on nobody. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at, bro. Like I need to, you know, I felt that was there. Now this is here, right? This is my second. You know, I'm cool. I'm calm. I'm collective, and I want us to have a better understanding of this whole situation because it's not over. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And, we, and we're going to get to a certain point of is there going to be a, a, a murder arrest or not right mm-hmm. how are people going to take to that right in the meantime how much are we going to continue to talk about this subject how much is it going to stay in front of us is every time somebody tweets or uh, drops a song are we going to have a major conversation about this subject mm-hmm. right I'm with you bro go ahead no I mean when, I think that's a good point because people are looking to you and to Troy, unfortunately, and to platforms like this. Of course, people could tweet all day, put up a million things. Let me analyze this video. I see that person here. But what you're saying is the solution. We could analyze a TMZ video for two hours. Mm-hmm. That's not changing what happened in that room. Mm-hmm. Well, what's this the- type of talk is changing what happened in that room for the better from a terrible situation. Absolutely. Well, you you leading by example. I, I mean... The words, like I started this with and I'll end with this as well. The words bounced off the screen. I think just in listening and watching and being in tune, your message resonates. It resonates. I think that a lot of the stuff that you spoke about today was very innovative, forward-thinking type of shit. And it's shit that would solve a lot of shit like hip-hop police and 
all types of other mediums and, and, and people that they put to air quotes police us and police the hood and police all types of other shit. So I want you to know that you always have this platform. For sure. Always have this platform to come and discuss all of that forward thinking shit. Definitely. Real quick, uh, before we get, wrap this up, uh, touch on Mike Son's, uh stance on everything because yeah, he okay, had a lot okay. to say. And Definitely. So, Mice, right? So I knew Mice from rapping. That's, you know, when we know Mice's situation. I didn't know him before that. He has a, a good relationship with my brother, Josh. So I was Josh. Mm-hmm. And when I came home, I, I came home in 2008, and I went right into the work, right, mm-hmm. doing what I do. And that's what I've been doing full time. So my focus is community. And in doing something, you you come in contact with people that's doing the same things. Right. Right. And, I, and I, you know, I used to do marches, rallies. Right, Google it. People will see. Oh, I didn't know he was doing this. Yeah, I was doing this before you saw it negative about me. Right, mm-hmm. on yeah. this video. Mm-hmm. So I'm constantly, you know, I already know. Yo, what's up? Might be building. We out, we did marches together. So bro, putting his community work in before he put his music in. Yeah. He out there fighting for civil rights when we talking about it. Right. So now he got a, le- a different level of respect for me before music. Mm-hmm. So we we have a different relationship now. We building. Right. So. You know, I've called him on numerous occasions about this. I mean, you know, there's certain others that you reach out to, that you build with, that give you that resolve, mm-hmm. right? So now, when that other joint came out, I called them too. Yo, bro. Oh, see what you saw, right? Mm-hmm. We all got mans that is going to respond a certain way. And, right. and it's the same, right? And that's that's what happens. Right? There's a lot, lot of other people that I said, nah. You know what I mean? That had something. Nah, let, you know. we gonna, So you got to respect that. Right, if I'm telling my bro, your son, I'm not with it. Right, we know how we moving out. Mm-hmm. So you got, you don't know who you are dealing with every day when you come across somebody and feel you want to disrespect them. Mm-hmm. Right, you don't know who's yes. gonna stand. Right, and that's the message I always give. Right, because if you see me when it's, you know, I got my suit on, I'm not walking down the street, yo. I'm walking mm-hmm. down the street, hey, how you doing? I tell people how you doing, looking back, I'm crazy. Me too. Right, like, me too. I just said hi. I wasn't trying to talk to you or nothing. You know, Word. What I'm saying? how you doing today? Right. right. Um, I say good day. I don't say good morning because I feel morning is a play on words. M O U R N I N G. I'm not, you know, it's not a good morning. Mm-hmm. It's a good day, mm-hmm. right? So, th- that energy is where I'm at. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, just, just, just helping to to come to resolve with this is what I want for everybody. I, I understand where people are, and if I'm still showing that negative energy, people are gonna feel they need to support me in that. I don't want you to support mm-hmm. me in negative. I want you to support me in positive. I thought Mice did a good job of that. Yeah, he did. Mice, I like so, I so. said about Mayno, Mice is becoming that as well. Mm-hmm. And the I what? like it. The what? That voice, just a voice yeah. of reason and maturity and, hey, I've I've been here. This is not what y'all want to do. This is not how you want to live. The message comes the same way in different in different forms, right? I'm not an artist. He is. Mm-hmm. We're preaching the same message. Yes. You see, gangster, but I'm woke as fuck. Excuse mm-hmm. me, mom. We hear this, mm-hmm. right? But you understand my point. Mm-hmm. So when we say gangster, I'm not perpetrating. I'm not saying yo respect me. I'm saying there's a lifestyle that comes with that. It's an addiction. Mm. It's a, it's, you know what I'm saying. You talking about cars, money, clothes, jewelry, all that stuff is the lifestyle. It's just not about gangs. It's about an addiction to what comes with that. The reputation, the respect that people are gravitating towards, right? But that goes back to you saying the young people that don't understand those things. So, so you understand, you understand my point? So he brings that as well as I bring that, and others is bringing it in a different form, right? Speak of it. When you look at Mice, Mice was on the the, uh, the, the Million Man March anniversary, right? Mm-hmm. Putting the community work in. So ain't nobody could tell me nothing about that. Yeah. That's what I respect. Right? Mm-hmm. That's who I move. I move with individuals, you know, that is doing that. My, I got brothers in Brooklyn, A.T. Mitchell, who doing this work. You got Erica Ford and Life Can't Be Queens who doing this work. You know, I got like to make it matter of his sister on the front line. These are these are these are the people, right? Councilman Jemani Williams. These are people who I affiliate with him. And they saw me like they're like, yo, bro, are you okay? Right? Like, people get afraid that I nah, I'm okay, right? Mm-hmm. That's a con I let a little let a little of that out, we good. As long as we all respectable, right? Mm-hmm. And that's for everybody, right? So we don't want a single individual, right? We want to talk about all of our accountability. Okay. Right? We look at a situation and we say, Hey, do I have accountability in that situation? And am I accepting it? Mm. Powerful. I respect it, man. I I just want to say thank you for coming on, man, and uh, shouts out to my man Mari and uh, for just linking us, man. And you know, I think everything you said today, you know, is gonna resonate. And you you said a lot of things that 
I wasn't expecting you to say. Like I said, I saw the interview with you on Doggy Diamonds, and I got a lot from that. But even today, a lot of things that you're still saying to me is just so powerful, man. Like you know, and I, I gotta commend you for just being in the, in the headspace that you're in after losing a brother. And uh, you know, again, condolences to the family. But is there anything else? Like I said, how can people get in touch with you and your organization? I mean, I'm, I'm on. I'm not. I never really, really been a social media person right. except to just be like this, mm-hmm. right, right. watching things mm-hmm. go on. But um, you know, I'm on Instagram, trife t r i f e underscore g a n g s t a. That's mm-hmm. also the same snap I have. I'm on Facebook, my government, Sean Duke McFadder. You know, I, I have nothing to hide. I want people to see that part, right? Mm-hmm. What is he doing in the community? <clears throat> uh, and then, uh, the most importantly, throughout this time, we haven't had an opportunity to honor and respect my brother, mm. right? So uh, we normally do an annual fundraiser, and this year we going we circulated. Oh, I actually got the joint up right there, mm-hmm. right? I'm reading Gangsta Gala. Save Gangsta the day. Gala. Second annual Gangsta Gala. May 24th. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rosanna. that's what I was looking for the date. May 24th, 2017. Sandcastle. Sandcastle in Long Island. Go, go Google that. Look at that place, right? Okay. And it's about, you know, it's just, you know, suit and tie, your best attire, you know, a little better than what I got on the day mm-hmm. type of stuff. Damn, uh, better honoring. than that? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> you know, because we want to we wanna, we wanna show people the work that we're doing, right? Mm-hmm. And at the same time, honoring bro, right? Uh, we, 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 we give recognitions to some people in the community that's doing work. Right and show a uh, highlighting that right. I ain't, we ain't gotta wait for no 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 awards for nobody Word. else. We gotta show the people in our community that's really doing something. Right. That's part of what we doing. And then you know t- giving that honor to the work that my brother was doing. People understand that he had a mindset of the work from the inside of the hip hop. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Being in the music to mediate things to a certain level. He put mm-hmm. his life on the front line for that. That yeah. was his, you know what I'm saying. That's what he cared about protection. So we didn't get a chance to do that. So on that day we're gonna sit down, relax. You know. Honor him. It's, it's May twenty fourth is a year before the day. He, you know, he got he died May twenty fifth, mm, right? So you know, I I was dealing with that. My you know, just sitting back and saying, right, we got a year coming. Mm-hmm. Right? I ain't want to go through all this. I just want to you know mm-hmm. get to that point and let people know we gonna be all right. Mm-hmm. Right? It's you know we gonna we gonna have struggles. It's gonna happen. We are gonna take some losses. But when you see a loss, you even going to take that and, and move in the right direction and start to gain from that loss mm-hmm. in the right way, not exploit a loss, mm-hmm. right? Or we're going to continue to take these same losses that we're aware of, mm-hmm. right? When we, mm-hmm. we see this replicating the same thing. Right? Mm-hmm. And that's why I said anybody that's that's paying attention, right, and see the energy that came from the songs that I have pushed out and feeding it. You, you see the feed. We know how to feed this, right? Right, right. Like, we got to get people to say, nah, leave that. Yo, somebody pay that no attention. You know that's what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's why I, I, I won't respond to it. Yeah, you gave him, you gave him, you gave him what you gave him. But and like you said, it. I ain't got to say nothing that else. Like, don't, like I, I caught you. Move on, right? Mm-hmm. And I learned that this helped me, right? Mm. So like I said, if I responded to everything that I saw through the whole time of this situation, I'd probably be definitely beefing with the world. Word. Right? Yeah. Work. People that's just standing behind a computer and, and, and trying to push buttons to push a button. Mm-hmm. Nah, that, that don't move me. Yeah, people that get off on shit like that. Yeah, you know, what moves me is happy happy kids, mm-hmm. smiling kids, right? It's about them. It's not about us anymore. And if you're an entertainer, you're doing this music, if you put perpetrating something that's not you, at least get back to that type of community. You understand my point? Mm. But I understand that there's people out there who are living that and they need that help. So if you if you coming from that, you not coming from that, but you acting like that's your life, show respect to that. Respect. The laws of attraction, people, what you put out will come back. That's a fact. Right. Yeah, don't have to be authentic. It will come back. Uh, again, I can't thank you enough. One, because I know our studio as far as shit. Right. <laughs> and, uh, Jersey. I come and, to Jersey. I got the <laughs> homies in Jersey. Shout out to all... The Hurts in Jersey. All the Hurts everywhere. People don't understand yeah. that about me, right? They say, I thought you was... Listen, stop. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? My brothers and my sisters out there don't understand how I'm moving, right? It's about brotherly love or riding oppression and destruction. I'm against oppression in any form, mm-hmm. right? And I'm about elevating us, right? I'm a shine. I'm, you know, I'm a soldier's honor to network until elevation. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I am, mm-hmm. right? So every time I come across an individual, how can I help you elevate? What can I do to help you? But I, I change lives. What's today. your sign? I'm a Gemini. 
You ain't see? Mm. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm trying. To, right? Oh man, right. I'm getting the fuck Yo. out of here. Yo. Wait a minute, yeah. this is a gym now. Yo, man, this makes yeah. all the sense in the world, exactly. man. He that right. guy. He's that trying guy. to tell y'all something. Yeah, <laughs> two sides, Wait. two sides. Definitely he really good. I, I, you know, what I'm saying? I, I put yo leave that. I've been let that man. You know, what I'm saying let him. That's hard. Yeah, you know. That's so hard. that's the strength that I got. You know what I mean? That's I'm hard. You know, when people think I'm hurting, I'm, I, a lot of people say I seen the pain in your eyes. Yeah, I got pain in my eyes, but I'm 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 gonna I'm make it because there's a bigger picture out there, and I want us all to come. I want this to come to cease. You know what I mean? Everybody that's upset about it, you know, I'm and my family, my mother, my sisters, my brother. We and my, fa- my, you know, we're going to say the cousins too, of course. All of our family members that are dealing with that, have respect for them and understand that they took that loss, right? And this is the situation that's going to, pep- what's the word, per- perpetuate mm-hmm. a further situation. We don't want yes. that to happen. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what no. I'm saying? Put the egos down. Pride to the side. Pride to the side. Check it at the door when Let's you come move in forward building. positively. Let's get to this money. I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn got a lot of strong hitters coming out of there doing this music. Yes, that's true. New York is focused on coming together. Can this be what does it? I'm with it. Me too. Try sure. thank, thank you. you. Definitely. You too, Rory. Thank, thank, thank no, you two definitely. niggas too. That's this was good. This was good. Relit! Rest in peace, Bang. Rest in peace, Bang. <laughs>